<laughs> now to that super size Super Bowl halftime show. Five music legends performing together for the very first time. TJ is here with that. Good morning, TJ. Uh, good morning. You could argue that any one of these artists could headline the Super Bowl halftime show on their own, but you're getting five, and at the center of it, a man who is one of the most influential artists in the history of a genre that's now about to get the world's biggest stage. They say raps change. They want to know how I feel about it. It'll be a hip hop halftime like never before. Let's get it. Five icons will share the stage for the Pepsi halftime show at Super Bowl 56. Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Eminem, Mary J. Blige, Kendrick Lamar, each a headliner and hit maker in their own right, will for the first time join forces. Pepsi, the NFL, and Rock Nation in their joint press announcement put it this way. 43 Grammys, 19 number one Billboard albums, and five legendary artists on the biggest stage in Los Angeles. This is history in the making because these are all legendary artists who have each made a huge mark, not only on the music business, but have helped define the sounds of hip hop and R&B uh, in popular culture. Y'all know me, still the same OG, but I've been low key. Dr. Dre wrote in a statement, the opportunity to perform at the Super Bowl halftime show and to do it in my own backyard will be one of the biggest thrills of my career. My name is, my name is, my name is. Rap star Eminem on social media said, Dre Day in February, I'm there. This will be the third straight year that Jay-Z has had a hand in the halftime show. The previous two halftime shows, the widely popular J-Lo and Shakira performance, and then the weekend earlier this year. Both the result of the partnership between Jay-Z's Rock Nation and the NFL, in which Jay serves as the entertainment advisor for the halftime show. Dr. Dre, a native of Compton, California, said the halftime show will be a cultural moment for Los Angeles as the Super Bowl returns to the city for the first time in nearly 30 years. Now, this is a departure from recent history. We just have one or two headliners, but it's not unprecedented. They've actually, back in 2004, they had six headliners. You had wow. P. Diddy, Nelly, Jessica Simpson, Kid Rock, and also Justin Timberlake and... Janet Jackson, but nobody really remembers that show anymore. <laughs> no, we never talk about that show. How long is the halftime going to be now? Is that Still 12 minutes, man. <laughs> beep, okay. beep. Yeah, how long is the day going to be? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, TJ. Yeah. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.